All right, what's up everyone? Sean here. Uh, I'm actually making another video right after a, uh, the one before, which involves with a gravity feeding pressure washer setup and what I'm gonna do with that to sort of tie up the loose ends. Um, and I had this uh, pressure washer gun. Uh, this is my go-to right now. I, I really do like it for what it is. It's like, what, 25 bucks, but it works. Um, it's been serving me pretty well. I love the, the sort of design of it. It just looks like a gun. I, li I really like the, you know, this type of design. I know this is like, probably like, you know, not the greatest, but I, re I really like it for what it is. It's not so bad. You know, trigger and feel and all that stuff. But that's not what this entire, or this video is entirely about. Uh, you may notice some differences in the garage of itself, so which I'll walk you guys through in a bit. But um, yeah, so there are some things from the cart also being different. We'll go through all that. The journal is supposed to be like me rambling because I like to ramble about stuff I like, including car washing. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, all that blah, blah, blah stuff, all right? <laughs> anyway, um, what you may notice here, in a way, look what I got. Ta-da, I got another, yet another um, uh, garden hose spray nozzle. Why? Uh, that could potentially be something for, um, for my detail kegs because, here, I'll take you guys to this one because it's smaller and easier to look through. In a way. Let's do this all in one hand. Okay. Uh, oops, wrong side. Look at this. What's going on? Why is there a hose? Wait a minute, why is there a Flexilla hose in here? You may ask. So, I've been really meaning to try to convert this, um, these kegs, including this one and that one over there into like a hybrid setup. What I mean by that is, so on one side, right, you just have this regular metal tube, which goes down like that to the middle. And that's uh, your regular spray side of it, right? You know, for, uh, for your windows washing or whatever you want to put in there. This side, what I'm trying to potentially do is to make this into a, a foam, a foamer, right? Kind of like the IK foam sprayers, the Pro 12, foam Pro, Pro 12. And um, I found an old video um, of a DIY hack. It's supposedly $10, but um, in my setup, right? Um, so what I did was I bought um, two uh, liquid inlets or connects, right? Because what I found out and discovered is that um, the gas and the liquid inlets or connectors are actually uh, subtle but very different. And these little, little notches are slightly ever so different. That's why um, you can't just force a liquid quick connect onto the gas side because um, because of that. They're, they're slightly different shapes and that's why the liquid and the gas are actually different connection wise. So what I did was I actually um, took out the gas connector and I put a liquid connector, right? So these two are now liquids. You know how it says in, that's supposed to be gas in, that's supposed, that's supposed to be gas or liquid out. And so I now converted that and um, now I have two of that, right? Two liquids and um, that way I can you know, connect my um, usual setup stuff. Next, what I did with this um, tube or hose, right? I repurposed it because I'm not gonna use the straight version now. Um, at least it's too long anyway. It was like, it's like, what, uh, 25 feet? 
actually a little a little too long and cumbersome in my opinion to use it for something like especially for a smaller keg like this this is, this is a two and a half gallon tank um but yeah i repurpose the air hose all right it's a quarter inch air hose i repurposed it so that it becomes a inlet tube or inlet uh, hose sucks up all that liquid and goes through there the first, uh, next step what I did was I poke tiny little holes right below where it connects, right? Just right below it. Maybe like an inch at most below. Um, I poke little holes. So that way, apparently the air mixes with the liquid, thus agitating it, thus creating foam, potentially. So, um, hopefully, that's uh, all I need. And then uh, I have some um, nozzles or spray nozzles potentially ready to um, also foam as well. Because uh, what you apparently also need is a sort of um, felt pad, which you can't make shift or DIY with these scotch bright scrubbers this is what you see on like a sponge right you know that green rough side of the yellow sponge this is the exact material scotch bright this is like your home, your most mainstream brand for these type of um scrubbers right they have that very similar material very similar texture as long as you like take a, a good amount of it and uh, scrunch it up and then put it into your nozzle. So yeah, I bought a whole pack of them, like seven or something. They're like they're like pretty cheap too. So I have, I still have a bunch of them. So I have like days and days of DIY felt pads. I actually bought these like long time ago, or not 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 a long time ago, like a while back, I guess. So I'll just like put that back over here. Okay, so I put that, I put a like this amount into here and I just screwed this um, spray nozzle. I like to call this the silencer because it kind of, that's what it kind of looks like to me. And then um, I, um, this spray nozzle gun is like your typical garden hose spray nozzle. Um, and this one has a actual like front thread for garden hoses. So if you're like, if you want to go dumb, silly, whatever, you can actually put on the receiving end of a garden hose onto here, and then you can have yourself a little elephant or something. Like, you know, pretend you can you can pretend that you have an elephant or something. <laughs> I don't know, child childhood whatever bullshit, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I attached this uh, silencer back on because I wanted to use this for my rinses washing, but um, the mist, mist abilities is non-existent. It just kind of just sprays out water, right? In a, in, a, in a cone fashion. But hopefully with the felt pad and the holes and all, all, all else, and of course the right liquid, and stuff, right solution, the foaming can happen, hopefully. And then of course, this has the converter, right, from garden hose thread into MPT thread for a quarter uh, quarter inch uh, connector. You can see the thread tape right there. Um, I can, I'll potentially actually uh, add on or enhance this setup right here, the connector setup, so that, um, Every one of my garden hose um, sprayers or spray nozzles will be able to take it because here, you know what? In fact, I can probably demonstrate to you guys right now since this is supposed to be a long form video anyway. So I had a bunch of spare um, female quick connects stainless steel, right? And let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, maybe not, but we'll see. All right, I'm holding it between my legs. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Oh, that came off real easy. 
Um, hmm. Funny, because this one has the little screening right here, the little strainer with the, uh, what do you call? O-ring, excuse me. Just for, you know, extra security that stuff doesn't come through, right? The particles. All right, so we'll have this. We'll connect that, right? And let me hand tighten it real quick. We're back. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is what you have right here. So now I can connect every garden hose spray nozzle, oops, that has a, um, the male quick connect, which is this, uh, this, um, even this, if I'm crazy enough, right? Because this also has it, okay? So hold on, let me quick, we quick, that, quick connect that back on, okay? And uh, yeah, pretty much um, any, anything with that male quick connect stainless or whatever will now go into this. So anything, so I can just like, now um, put any, any um, garden hose spray nozzle onto the de detail cake now. It's actually a pretty cool idea potentially, right? So, let me see. Let's see what that looks like actually. Oh, it's stuck in my pants. All right, now I go. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That doesn't look too bad, right? Huh. Look at that. So, yeah. Just attach it to the detail keg. There you go. So, that's a pretty cool uh, little idea that I came up with uh, not too long ago. Maybe like a few minutes, I mean a few minutes ago, in fact. At most an hour. So hopefully, anyway, so all that set up, right, will happen. Uh, of course, I will use one of the many hoses I have, well, two, either one of the two, and then uh, get it going, get that thing going, potentially, because uh, not only I have, I have it for here, the small keg right here, for the foaming, hopefully, capability, um, I also did the same exact thing over there as well. It's just, except that I uh, had to cut a longer piece. So yeah, I just I just recycled my um, air hoses because I know I'm not going to use this at least at that length anyway. I'm gonna, I'm 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 even probably going to cut that one down even further to uh, make it a little more um, flexible or or more. What's the word for it? Not slim. Um, hmm. Sleek, I guess you could say, because there's a lot of extra hose to handle, and it goes it goes all over the ground. I have to like manage it, you know, hold it or whatever. So yeah. So yeah, a bunch of good, cool, cool ideas potentially could. Whoops, that could all be cool. The next time I. You know, use these, but I have my gravity, gravity feeding stuff first to try out again, and then I can try if my foaming um, thing works or not. And then, yeah, so I have to, I just have to remember that the foam, the in is the foam, the out is just liquid, uh, regular liquid. So pretty cool, hopefully. And then hopefully this might be the gun to come back, right? The silencer will come back. Because all it is is just going to spray um, the, in a comb foam pattern, hopefully. So it's got, it's got everything. Um, I think maybe the only thing missing now is a quick connect, a male quick connect. All right. Um, so let me see. Um, up next, 
So yeah, again, I have it for both. Um, the big keg right there, that's the, that's the five gallon one with the seven up sticker and everything, the old seven up sticker. And this one. This one, this, this tank right here was actually brand new. I bought this from Amazon for like hundreds of bucks. Um, it was like, oh, it was like, it was like maybe 120. So kind of, kind of, uh, a little, um, iffy about that. I felt a little regret on that buyer's remorse a little bit, but I went ahead and bought a re refurbished keg, which was much cheaper. It was like 60 bucks. It was like, it's pretty much half the price guys. So buy your stuff refurbished when it comes to detail kegs. If you want to do it yourself, of course. Um, yeah, and this one has a nickel-plated tire valve right here that I set up for myself. Uh, with it, uh, I drilled a hole. Um, it's a it's a it's a bitch to get through this one if you don't have the right tools. Um, even with my my best whatever stuff, um, yeah, <laughs> had a pretty hard time getting through that. But you know, I had a I had a metal bit. It went through it eventually, and yeah. But the next time I do want to get a lid with the tire valve on it, I, I'll just buy it online. It's like 26 bucks from where I found. So, yep. Um, hopefully, yeah, the detail keg is now, now, uh, that, I can't talk. Hopefully, it has foaming capabilities, all right? Okay, so next, um, for the cart, I have, um, what you call? I had these, uh, not buckets, um, containers. I had these like clear containers lying around in my closet because I bought these in a four pack and I need, only needed one because I actually use these because they're so clear and transparent that I actually use these as like a cover display lid thing for my Amiibos. And for those who don't know what Amiibos are, they're like those little figures that have, that Nintendo makes of like Nintendo characters, right? And you can actually like interact with them with your uh, Nintendo Switch or your old Wii stuff, including, well, uh, Wii U stuff, excuse me. Um, that's what Amiibos are. And I display them and I use this as a cover so you can see them, but not be dusty. Uh, I had three extra ones, so I actually use these to hold my stuff now. And it is much more organized looking. I do want to get one more so that I may use that space for tw um, dirty towels. Or I just store my um, pressure pump right here, potentially because of what the ideas have been flowing through my head for the last fucking week. <laughs> excuse, excuse me for my colorful language, but yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I just have these random quick connects right here, so excuse me. So I was like experimenting with some stuff, but yeah. This will hopefully be the key to help me, uh, you know, quickly, Chain, interchange and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, so I think I showed you guys this already. So this is like potentially one of them. Um, I would like to see if these spray nozzles without a felt pad um, can foam. Cause I wanna see, you know, does it require a felt pad or might be a little better with a felt pad or felt pad, excuse me. Um, maybe, maybe if I put a felt pad or not felt pad, you know, you know, the, the scrubber pad, um, the scotch bright into here in this area, will it still be able to foam through all this stuff or through this, all, all the space, or does it have to be like right here? Right. So if that's the case, this is not a foaming gun or a nozzle. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I also put one into here the felt pad or the scotch bright into here, right here, somewhere. So hopefully that'll work. Um, yeah. So, uh, what else did I get? Oh yeah. This thing, 
I kind of like, uh, in my head, I wanted to use this as a way to like, kind of like pour water into my, um, uh, what do you call it? The 10 gallon water tank and like kind of walk and forget, right? Walk away and forget while I do my other setup, right? For car washing, like finish my car, car washing setup and let this like pour water for me. Because what this is, is a water timer, essentially, a, like a sprinkler timer almost. It, like a, it's for your like, it's like for water irrigation or something, because you can see um, it has like settings for, you know, what time you want to start, how long you want to spray for or use water for, you know, adjust it, all that stuff. And it's, and it's on constantly. That's the thing about it. It's a little weird. Um, but yeah, um, I just found it to be a little impractical because I already have this, right? Which tells me how much gallons I put and then it's not even that long anyway because the most time I spent pouring water is like two minutes. So it's not that bad. I was hoping that it would work anyway, but you know, maybe I'll like, let it go for two minutes, see what happens. If it, if this can program for a minute and a half, then I would have like widely considered it, but no. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. It only works in one minute increments, unfortunately. Uh, nothing else new here. I got DIY stuff, incredible suds, and DIY rinse wash. Right behind that is carpal reset as always with the pouring cup right here. This little baby right here is what's actually new. I got my hands on uh, Armor Detail Supplies Ghost, the new tire sealant on the block. And it looks like, it's been looking like uh, it's been very promising. I have not seen any long-term dur durability updates or anything like that. Everyone's been like applying it and it's like, oh, it looks cool, you know? Um, I like the spray bottle. This is my first, um, what do you call? 16 ounce product I bought from Armor Detail because I have Hero. That's my that's my actual first Armor Detail product. But this, hopefully, uh, when my tires get a little dirty or browning starts starts happening, that's when I'll put on the tire sealant. But otherwise, I've been putting on the the Turtle Wax Pro uh, the the what do you call um, graphene tire coating spray coating if what if you want to call it. That, that works fine, honestly, for any average Joe, but you know, I like to take it the next step further. So Ghost hopefully will be my new go-to. Uh, but yeah, seems pretty neat so far. Um, nothing new in here, I don't think, but this detail cart has been working beautifully. And um, uh, even despite with the tiny wheels that it comes with, it still worked fine. The only part that I didn't like is that when there's like a tiny rock, it just stops, you know? So what I actually did, I managed to install um, these four inch wheels, these casters that swivel. They all, ca they all swivel and um, it works beautifully so far. The caveat to it though, is that it does have these bolts and nuts right here. The bolt is sticking up quite a bit because otherwise it will be hitting it. And that's no fun. It would not swivel, so that's what's the point, right? So I had to drill holes and that was a pretty fun process because I forgot to wear my shoes and the, the metal particles got on my foot and it was pretty hot. <laughs> so always wear shoes when you're working with drilling metal and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, so that's what it looks like on my middle cart. So I already modded it in a way. And um, these wheels are cool looking because they got that white color to them. So it kind of like helps contrast from the black, right? So it's pretty cool. So yeah, pretty happy with it so far. They are four inch casters. I don't know the exact size for these nuts and bolts. Um, I don't think they specifies it, but whatever. 
Um, next thing you'll notice is not so much of a new product, but arrangement wise, is that, oh, what's going on over here, right? Somebody noticed that there was a, always like a big ass box right here blocking this shelf. What that was is a, an old TV, right? Oh, an old uh, widescreen TV, I think it's LCD. It's like one of the oldest TVs in the house. Um, we used to use that TV quite often, like way back in the day. Um, I managed to like shove it all the way back here. And then, <laughs> and I just use this part to like put, mo put my stuff right there, some of my stuff. And then, yeah, so it looks a little more clean. Um, this is a steamer that uh, my sister's boyfriend bought for my sister's car because my, I think my sister will still wants to like do some interior cleaning because um, something messy happened in there. But I'm not gonna go there because that's gonna be a long video, <laughs> kind of. I, want, I don't want the video to be longer than it has to be already. Um, so yeah, anywho, uh, so yeah, so it looks, like, it looks a little cleaner. Now I can access to my uh, toolbox right there really easily. I don't have to like move that fucking shit anymore, the box. Now I have another box right there, but that's that's nothing. That, that doesn't bother me at all. This this, however, did bother me for a long time. So I just took put, took matters to my own hands and I just moved it behind the shelf. And then now it's moving a little forward more, but it still has quite a bit of space right here as I can walk through. So that's fine. Um, I think that's it on that this side. Right, because there's nothing new there. Yes, my detail cake is still sitting there. Um, let me see. Uh, hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can definitely see this stuff too. Um, yeah. So here it is. Let's get it out of the way. This is um. Not so much related to guard detailing in a way, but it kind of is because I use it for, you can use it for dry, um, washing your towels, right? Your microfiber towels. This is a new washing machine. Uh, we are able to get rid of the other one because the gasket was starting to go bad. Um, apparently it was uh, leaking a little bit. I mean, it still worked, but you know, it um, was a hassle to deal with. But um, uh, what this is, is a General Electric um, washing machine, uh, top load. We, I, I, al I always did not like the fact that it was a front load because front loads, for what I found out, are just, mm, I don't know. They suck at maintaining things. Um, Oh, uh, has a little jingle to it when you turn it off. Um, does it automatically turn on when you do this? Oh, it does. Okay, that's cool. All right. Maybe it might turn off on its own, but I, I can't help it. Anyway, so there are the controls right there. And this is what it looks like. Pretty nice. Okay. SE General Electric. I don't, I don't know the specific model number for it. I don't see on front. But otherwise, yeah. Yeah, same, we still have this old dryer, but the dryer hasn't been a problem. It's a, it is a front load, which again, I don't like, but whatever, um, it works. So I'm just happy that it's a top load. We're back to top load again. We've had a top load in the past, but that broke down. So somebody in the family decided, oh, we should get a front load uh, washer. Well, again, it has its flaws in that design and basically um, the weight and gravity plus your clothes and all that stuff. Well, yeah, obviously mass times gravity. But anyway, <laughs> um, those forces uh, don't work well with um, uh, front loading washing machines, especially when you have a lot of clothes, <sighs> which somebody puts in a lot of clothes right uh, that's why there are times where um, that washing machine kind of struggled a bit 
So, um, uh, what, uh, you know, what we realize is that yes, they are not as great as, you know, a top loader. Because the way it, the thing sits, how gravity works and all that stuff against it, I feel like, I, I believe these last longer. Yes, they do use more water, I guess, but um, you can control it now, I guess, nowadays. You know, technology, I, I, uh, I imagine it improved on these top loading designs. But in the past, yeah, so the front loading ones tend to use less water, but I'd rather have more water used than to face the repair bill. And the repair bill was like ridiculous. And it's funny because this washing machine costed as much as the repair bill. That was a good wake up call to get a new machine. So we got it swapped out, all that taken care of. Apparently the drain pipe was dirty or messy. So we had to get another person, get that all cleaned out, uh, which explained the fucking noise when I was sleep, trying to sleep through the afternoon. <laughs> and um, we got all that done though. So yeah. Um, the only thing relating to car detailing, and I did this just for, front of, for the fun of it, I think this is glass. Um, this might be maybe tough plastic, I don't know. I think this is glass, but anyway. Uh, what I did with this is that, um, oh man, <laughs> feels, feels, feels pretty slick. I actually sprayed some, um, here, I'll bring it out right now. I spray some of this because I'm not going to use this anymore. I know I'm not going to use this because I already ceramic coated my car and everything. But yeah, I spray some of this onto the glass top just for the fun of it, just to see what happens. Um, how, how long will it get dirty or whatever? Um, yeah. I, I thought it was kind of funny. So, so I'm gonna, probably going to do another layer uh, tomorrow night. Because you're supposed to do it like in between 24 hours or something or after 24 hours according to the instructions. But yeah. So washing machine, pretty nice. Um, I guess that's where you put the liquid, right? So pretty nice. All right. So that is essentially that. So, um... Trying to see, I don't want to forget anything, but yeah, the major stuff has been out of the way. So we got the car all modded. The, it's got bigger wheels now. We got a washing machine. This has been rearranged. Um, yes, pressure washer stuff. So uh, yeah, this, so I guess lastly, I did, I did talk about this in another video, so I'm not gonna explain this as long. But basically what this is, is a pressure water pressure pump or a booster pump um, as one would call it depending on I guess where you're from but what this is is supposed to help pump water into the electric pressure washer whenever there's no pressure right so when you're gravity feeding right and I guess when you don't have enough water um, which maybe explains some things but it still worked it's just like and eh, it's a little little iffy so I do want to uh, tighten up those loose ends. Uh, hopefully this motor will help with that to uh, help prime up the, uh, the pressure washer. So um, that is a that is uh, that. I'll, I'll probably look at videos to like just to see um, what the steps are right to get it going and um, we hopefully we have the most powerful rinses of wash that a house can have. So that's essentially my sort of nickname for the setup. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, detail keg, hopefully that foams. We already covered that. I do have new stuff coming, which is um, the Detail Co. and also the clean brand that um, Pan is so proud of, right? Pan the organizer. Um, I guess we can wrap it up with that because I did order, well, Detail Co stuff, I ordered a ton of it. 
Um, I got their shampoo. I got their rinse and wash. I got their iron remover. And I also got um, one other thing, which I'm forgetting already. Um, it might be... I, I swear I bought a fourth thing. Um, hmm. It is escaping me right now. Right after that, I was able to order also um, Pan's um, ceramic spray sealant because why I bought that is because um, it can be like a rinse off spray off or rinse on. What's it? What's it called? Those spray off sealants, right? Like um, Quick Beads and Wet Coat, uh, like that basically. The spray on, rinse off uh, sealants with ceramic in it and when I saw the gallon version it's 60 bucks it's pretty cheap so and it's got like mad durability apparently according to pan uh, so I went ahead um, and bought the 16 ounce version just to see you know just in case right uh, don't want to jump the gun uh, as soon as you know I find out that it is good and also um, the whatchamacall the spray sealant works i'm gonna go to that if that is the case i'm i'm gonna stick with pan's brand when it comes to see uh, spray sealants uh when it comes to like you know rinse and wash and stuff like that i'm i'm more likely to go with um diy detail but we'll see we'll t we'll see and then when it comes to uh the tire dressing or whatever I may want to try out Pan's tire dressing. It looks really promising. It looks really cool the way it works. And uh, it's got a month durability, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll stick with Ghost. We'll see. But I think Ghost only has like a spray bottle version for right now. I think. But yeah, we'll see. But I do really like... like um, the tire dressing though it does it does like i don't know something cool about it something kind of cool about it i don't know what it is the branding on it is pretty cool for both of them for detail coat and uh pans clean products unfortunately there has been a delay on it i like a mad delay on it for right now so i have not received my order yet they have not mailed uh, shipped it out unfortunately along with every not most pe other people like, there is no other video right now except for Eddie Co uh, Cologne and Pan trying out each other's products. And, you know, there's been some controversies with that. And, um, especially with Pan's side of things because he, um, he has those, like, yearly award videos. And basically what he did was essentially allow for not only his own brand but um uh detail co to pretty much take over the one and what number one and two spots right Num number one and number two spots right and by the way detail co is with eddie and um jamie the cleaner which that of itself had has had some s stuff behind that right at least according to people anyway i mean people are throwing stuff out like oh you know there's a fallout there was a falling out with alex and jb because they were left out this and this and that and it's just jamie the cleaner and eddie cologne with their house of rags and um detail co so um that has been unfortunate i guess but I don't know, we'll see. Um, I, f I feel like there might have been some misinterpretations but um, or misunderstandings. Uh, he did, or JB did get left out, especially. But there was, a, I guess, a bit of a, um, uh, what do you call um, A clarification from Eddie. But what I also wanted to talk about is um pan uh i think i was like tangenting off anyway so what was happening with pan is that he had a, he has those like yearly award show things and yeah so um he essentially he essentially made that video or made made those 
videos into um, a giant commercial, right? A, a giant ad for his own products. I mean, yeah, like on the surface, that does sound natural and all that stuff, but when you look at the grand scheme of things, people look forward to those videos to see what other products are also good, you know? If you're just gonna talk about your brand, then it kind of just defeats the purpose, I feel. That's my personal two cents on it. Like, I don't hate Pan by any means with that video, um, but I just think that that particular move was just not great. Um, I think it was just too early for that. And, um, you know, it's, it is his show or his video, but you have to, you know, one has to take into consideration, you know, the audience's feedback because, you know, where, where, where did the, um, uh, or how did, how did the pen, the organizer channel wind up, right? It's because people were watching. So you do have to, it's like, yeah, it's your opinion. Yeah, you know, it's your show. But you do have to take it into consideration of people's feedback as well. You know, into account. I mean, you know, all, all, uh, at the end of the day, it's, you know, his choice. Um, I think, though, he did go about it a little poorly, like a little bit. Uh, he wasn't like insulting anyone, I don't think, but to some people, maybe he did come off as, you know, maybe like he was belittling them in a way or something. I don't know. That I haven't uh, experienced that myself. Um, but I think when you're going to do that sort of award show type of stuff, including your own products in that fashion is, I don't think that's, that's the right move. It, 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 it felt a little awkward to me anyway and i just couldn't watch all of it because it, it, it is hard to watch and i think there is a reason for that so i think uh, that's why um, he did take down the video so that does say something but we'll see we'll see how he handles it maybe the very next day as, as i record this um he'll he'll have that video up before this <laughs> so we'll see I don't mean to leave it on the uh, a drama note, but you know. Um, to be fair, I, I I did buy some some more stuff, and I'm still waiting on them. So that's why I kind of like led to this. So that's why um, the Detail Co slash Clean brand did uh, start off like relatively smooth, and then that that the little bump on the road happened. But um, for the most part, I do believe his, their products are good because they've done demonstrations and all that stuff. I am very tempted to get Pan's uh, ceramic coating uh, and put that on somebody's car. Maybe my mom's car. You know, the Mini Cooper. Uh, and then maybe eventually um, whatever version comes out at the time, I'll put it on, on my car. But I do have the eight-year DIY detail coating on, so we'll see. I'll only put it on if I really need to, but yeah. I mean, yeah, he's, he's really confident in his products. I mean, I do understand at least to some extent, but yeah, that whole thing with the award show thing, self-insertion and all that stuff is a little weird. It's like, it's like you know, imagine you know, you running an award show and then you only, and then like you're giving yourself the awards. It's like, you know, it is your show, but it's really weird. <laughs> it's all I can say. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's just weird. You know, um, if anyone agrees or disagrees with that, um, I'll be willing to read those comments because I do like to have a civil discussion about these things. Um, I think I think it is to I think it is it is all right to have different opinions as long as you have something to back up with. So, you know. It is what it is. Um, I'm sure they'll, you know, get back on track and stuff, and they'll be able to move on. We'll be able to move on as a community, I guess. Because I've been both, I've been watching them both for a, a good while, and I do like their videos for the most part. It's just, well, particularly with Pan's last video, it's like uh, it was kind of uncomfortable, <laughs> you know, to say the least. I don't know. So yeah. 
Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect these because. Um, oop. There we go. I was able to do that with one hand. Uh, let me see. But anyways, I'll disconnect this stuff. But um, if you have any comments or anything like that, leave it down below. Thank you very much for tuning in and give, uh, giving uh, your time to watch this video. I do appreciate it. Like and subscribe because that's all helpful. Again, much appreciated. Um, I have nothing else to say. So thank you very much. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Uh, keep it simple and clean, guys. Shout out.